Hey everyone, welcome to John Builds It. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I built this set of cornhole boards with a mitered frame, recessed top, and silky smooth finish. If you have any questions along the way, shoot me a message or comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you. First, I started by ripping down a 2x12x12 that I've had laying around. You could skip this step, of course, and just start with normal 2x4s. After I had all the pieces ripped down, I ran them through the planer to get them nice and smooth. Next, it was time to cut the miters. Just measured 24 inches from long point to long point for the short pieces and 48 inches for the long pieces. After I had all the pieces cut, I laid the frame out to make sure the miters were going to line up perfectly. Here I'm marking a quick line where I want to cut the rabbit for the recessed top. Because well, you could accidentally flip a piece over on the way to the table saw and make a wrong cut. Not that I would know or anything. I set the blade at a half inch, the same thickness as a plywood, and set the fence so my first cut would be a half inch from the top, and then ran all the boards through at this location. Next, I set the fence so the blade would line up with the first cut and made all the release cuts. With the frame all cut to allow for the recessed top, it was time to glue it up and screw it together. I just used a typical ratchet strap here with some cardboard on the corners to prevent it from digging into the wood to pull everything tight and clamp together. With the strap holding everything tight and the glue beginning to set up, I pre-drilled and sank some construction screws to give it extra strength. Now it was time to measure and cut the plywood panel to sit inside the frame. No, the frame isn't that wobbly, that's just how uneven my plywood and sawhorse work table is. A solid assembly table will definitely be coming soon. With the panel cut, I did a quick test to make sure it was a nice snug fit. And since I'm painting the frame, I quickly filled the screw holes with wood filler. Here I'm measuring the center point of 12 inches and 9 inches from the top for normal regulation cornhole rules. To cut the hole, I used a massive 6 inch hole saw, but this could also easily be done with a jigsaw. With the hole cut, I decided to take my router with a roundover bit to smooth the edges when you reach inside the hole. Using cutoff pieces from the frame to make the legs, I measured and cut so they would fold up flush inside the frame. Next, I marked the center of each leg and one and a quarter inch down from the top to mark the bolt location. To make sure the bolt hole was nice and straight so the legs would 
fold easily and square, I used this AccuDrill Mate from Milescraft and it worked perfectly. To round over the top of the leg to allow it to fold in and out, I just used this vacuum hose connector to draw a line and then head it to the bandsaw. This could also be cut with a jigsaw. With the leg cut and sanded, I used a scrap block and clamped it to the frame. Then I used the hole in the leg as a guide to drill all the way through the frame. To figure out the angle to cut the leg, I propped the whole thing up on a gallon of paint and some scrap wood so that the top of the frame was exactly 12 inches off the surface. Once one leg is marked, you can use that same measurement to cut all the legs. Here I'm sliding some washers on the bolt between the frame and the legs to take an exact measurement to cut a stretcher piece to connect the legs. After cutting the stretchers, I drilled pocket holes on the inside and then screwed them to the legs. With everything cut, it was now time to lightly sand it all down. I didn't film the painting process because, well, this video would last all day. I basically just drew the logos and lettering out by hand and then painted inside the lines. A much easier solution would be to order some vinyl decals or stencils, but I think they turned out great. With the frame and panel painted, I spread a good bead of glue along the rabbit inside the frame. Then I sank brad nails all along the panel, and since I'm nailing into this gold strip, I could easily fill the holes and touch up the paint for a flawless top. Next, I took the boards outside and gave it three coats of polyacrylic. Using the Super Finish Max sprayer from HomeRite made this so much easier and faster, and it turned out really nice and smooth. All that was left to do now is add a handle to make the boards easier to carry and bolt the legs on. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with how this set of boards turned out. Thanks for following along, and be sure to like and hit the subscribe button. Also, you can head over and follow me on Instagram at JohnBuildsIt for more daily content. Take care.